let's make up a uh, woodland scene with perhaps a wet path going through a stream. Maybe a few rocks. This is Fabriano 130 pound paper. 15 inches by 11. I get this from uh, Art Discount, Grant Grantham's. And I buy it in 100 sheet packs. It's very good paper for wet and wet. So I'm going to put uh, the sky in. I want to try to keep quite a bit of bit of uh, sky in this. It's just a tint, just to give a general general warm up. Now you need cloth. This, this is the uh, this is big brush watercolor. Um, we'll put a bit of a. I'm not sure if I want centralised light, but uh, we can do that. I don't want to overdo this. And we'll let that uh, soak in, get a bit darker. I'm using a bit of ultramarine, a bit of Payne's Grey and a bit of alizarin just to get a bit of a dark background at the back of this. Okay, we'll uh, I'm going to give this a dry. That's as dark as I want that. Uh, well, I can put a bit of bit of light in the background. A bit of that'll do. So that's the basic, the sky, and the. Uh, And the foreground, and the, the middle distance, or the distance put in. So, take your headphones off, or mute your sound, I'm going to dry this. But not too much, I want to put in some some more nice colour in there. And try to keep one side different from the the other. So I put a bit of burnt sienna in here, just warm it up. So a bit of uh, the path coming through, and uh, a bit of yellow, a bit of red. Bit of blue. All sort of a canopy. Okay. Don't want that too solid there. Okay, we'll put in some colours in the in the bottom of this, some nice warm some greens, Payne's grey and some lemon yellow and then we'll uh, put a bit in here Sort of a fantasy, let's just some of that down there. Now while that's still wet, I'm going to just just some background trees. When this dries I can put in some stronger bits. Mm. 
Right, you'll notice that when you wet your paper it will expand, so just with your clips, just let's just take that off the bottom. Right, I'll dry that now. Headphones off. Ooh, very bold. Right, we'll put in some distant trees, a bit of blue and a bit of Payne's grey. But this all dries dries in and much lighter. It's okay, there's some over here. I'm using a bit of a uh, bit of yellow and a bit of um, sienna, raw sienna. That gives quite a good distance. This is what I don't like with the board at this angle is, is the way the paint runs down. I'm going to change the angle of it. I'm going to lower that. It's uh, not a good angle for watercolour. When I first started this four years ago, I would uh, have the board vertical. Stephen Cronin gave me the idea of that. I only got back into watercolours to help a friend who was struggling with hers. I was using oils, but I don't do oils now. I mostly use acrylic. Occasionally, that knife painting I did a couple of days ago, I enjoyed that. that that's uh, great fun. Right, now we'll texture some foreground here. So a bit of more shadow in there. It's a nice dark in the foreground, <coughs> both sides, and I can use a bit of uh, some rigor over that. Let's just get some greeny dark up here, sort of undergrowth. And I'm going to etch into this real good, good dark green here. And Sienna. Right. We'll take a few rocks out of this. Smaller as you go into the distance, just, 
just some sort of pebbly stuff and Just a bit of texture, just a bit of interest, saves painting it and it's quite effective, probably more, more than doing it with a brush actually. Okay, see we've, with the paint running down like that we've got all sorts of uh, nasties on there. Um, but I'm going to put in some, some I suppose a bit, of, a bit of greenery, a bit of Come over here with all these twigs, these twigs, and Some nice rich darks in here. Then we can do some rigor. So I've kept the left hand side larger than the right. I'm going to put some bigger trees in this now. I'll uh, before I do, I'll uh, well, I'm going to dry it off. I don't want the main trees to to um, bleed into these uh, wet patches. So we'll just do this. Alan Owen's got a great line of wash on his uh, channel. I've, I've started to watch it, but I haven't had much time. But I shall watch it this afternoon. Right, okay, so we'll have a bit of Payne's Grey, a bit, bit of sort of a greeny, a dark green. So Payne's Grey, Burnt Sienna and Lemon Yellow. So we'll, we'll have some of this coming up here. Okay, so when you get to the bottom of your, your trunks, you'll find that there's quite a bit of grasses and stuff growing up. But all with a hake. We will, will you do some rigor work, but... Uh, We'll do most of it with the with the hake because that is what we're demonstrating big brush water colouring. <coughs> I can always just lift off a little bit of light off of some of this, but we to do that we need to just put those a bit thicker. Using the card, just just scrape off a little bit of take it off that edge there. I'm uh, sort of right-handed, so I need to take it off of there. I'll do. And we'll do the other side now. We'll put Okay.
So we've now centralised that light really, we've concentrated through here. While that dries off a bit before we do any rigour work on it, I want to put a bit of a path in, a bit of sort of red. Okay, we'll put some figures on there. I think the difficult thing with putting figures in against trees is the scale, is getting the scale right. Too small and the trees look like giants, like beans, jacking the beanstalks. So I'm going to dry that off now. They just about show up those trees. Maybe the background's a little bit too dark in the back there. Right, uh, rigor. Just a bit of paint grey, a bit of sienna, burnt sienna. There's. Don't overdo this. Right, I'm just going to take a little bit of put a bit of light back in that trunk there. Bit of tissue. A damp, damp brush. Just, just take most of the moisture out of it. And just Well, I use a small brush just to put in these figures. So, um, oh, what's going on there? Right, we'll put a bit of shadow on. Uh, just 
bit of silver use I hate for this, a bit of red and a bit of blue. Okay, that'll uh, that'll do. I can't think of any way I can improve that. So I'll put that on, put the mount on it. I like doing these little figures, they're, they're quite fun if they work. Right, I'm just going to move this up, back up a bit. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's, that hurts me miss. Right, okay, move the camera around. There we are. Now look at the figures, let's go around it a bit. You can see where the uh, paper, when the paper dries, it, it, you, you do get this dry brush effect, provided you don't have too much water on the brush. I've taken off out some of this trunk, uh, some of the dark on the trunk to leave the, the shadow side painted, no, nothing in there. I wanted that less dominant than, than this. I could take that up a bit further, but anyway. Um, the figures. Yeah, keep them simple, make them look sketchy, they look more realistic. Couple walking through, holding hands. Uh, so a foreground, done very little in the foreground. Apart from those rocks, great, um, they give great uh, detail. They're, they're, they're very random, but you don't want to overdo it. I've probably gone a bit too, too dark with some of this, but but there's plenty of light in, in the painting coming through the middle. It's, it shows you how to concentrate the light. Stephen Crane is very good at, at it. Uh, what I don't really like is using uh, tissues to blot out too much. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're, we're all different. We, we've all got different styles. And we do different things. And I hope this gives you some sort of encouragement to have a go at at something like this yourself with the big brush. Don't try and do this with little sables, it just doesn't work. This is big brush watercolour painting with the wrong ransom. I could get nothing for saying, for promoting it. Uh, but I've always used the Hake for 25 years plus since I first discovered Ron Ransom. But I did stop for 15 years in favour of oil painting, doing Venice paintings and stuff like that and exhibitions and so I'm too old for now, I can't be bothered. Uh, right, okay, well, happy painting, see you soon. Thanks for watching, bye bye.